Hey guys, Moose here. Welcome back to another episode of Life is Feudal Forest Village. It's time to build more housing. Early spring, we are... We didn't... We only lost like 20k food that year. I think I might start doing that like every other year. It's certainly tempting. Right, I forgot to put the one in the back. Oops. So I'm not going to talk about this too much, but NHL playoffs have started, so I've been enjoying a little bit of that. It started the day that this is being recorded. It, uh... Sharks, my team, start the day prior to this going live. Just Thursday of uh, this week. You're watching it when it goes live. I am... kind of not expecting the Sharks to go anywhere this year. I kind of think they're bad. I just don't see them making it work. And I kind of think I'm justified in that opinion, to be totally honest with you. That's 78. That's just enough. So where did I have? It was the bakery, right? I put people in the bakery that I didn't previously have? Alright, so... 10, 78. Boom. Done. Alright, good. Gatherers, 6. Have fun. What else do I have that I can get rid of? I can probably cut back on Lumberjacks, so I will, and the rest stays, unless I want to pull off the Fisherman, which is very tempting. But, you know, fish is important. Fish is delicious. I'm actually going to start cooking some soon. Probably go... I don't know. I want to try tilapia. My parents made it, and it was always very bland, but everything they made was very bland, so I'm thinking maybe that would be like a... a good type of fish to season heavily. So I kind of want to try doing that. Just, you know, try it. See how it goes. If it's not great, that's fine. And then do halibut and trout. Because salmon's my go-to. And I will definitely get salmon, but salmon is not cheap. And I would love to eat salmon, like... Probably twice a week in total. I'd go steak one or beef in general one day. Turkey, three or four days. Cook different way. Cook turkey, or not turkey. Why did this say turkey? Chicken. Chicken. Turkey one day. Well, no. I only eat turkey as deli meat, so that doesn't really count. Beef one day. Fish two days? Salmon maybe one of those days? And then... Chicken... Wait, was I saying my ideal? Or... Sorry, I totally lost track. I can't remember if I'm talking about my perfect, like, hey, if I got everything I wanted version of this, or just... what I should do. One day no meat, one day beef. Fantasy version is like two or three days of salmon. Realistic version is like half a day of salmon, by which I mean once every other week. If I really wanted to. But I don't even do I don't even have it that much. And then like one extra day of fish and then the rest chicken. Because chicken is like I'd say chicken is the most versatile meat in not necessarily American cuisine, but uh cuisine that is eaten in America, I guess. Cause you can you can cook it in a way that you can cook it like for Chinese food, you can cook it for American food, which is typically just bland. You can cook it for Mexican food, which is delicious and, and slightly spicy. You can cook it in faux Mexican food, which is spicier, and but like American version, which I enjoy. Uh, there's Japanese versions, though that's usually a different type of meat, but then so is the Chinese. Because it's usually white meat here. Asia is usually dark meat. I, I was never really into dark meat. But uh, you can have rotisserie chicken, you can 
marinate it in garlic and it'll take a bunch of the taste. You can make teriyaki, you can do... There's like four other versions of not teriyaki, but like shioyaki and soyaki or I don't know. I don't know really much about those. I only really know teriyaki and I don't even know that very well. Hello, tornado. You don't bother me. But yeah, you can do a lot with chicken. Chicken is, in my opinion, easily the most versatile meat because it absorbs flavor quite well. I don't really feel like there's any other meat that does that in my experience. And if there is one, I don't want to find out about it. Or I don't care about it because I'm not going to eat it. My feeling about all those foods like, oh yeah, you know, you can milk cockroaches and it's really healthy and I, I don't care. I'm going to eat the foods that I've been eating already and I'm going to be happy eating them and that's it. I don't care. <laughs> like the extent of my desire to try new things is like, hey, that, you know, maybe tuna sushi is not always bad. <laughs> that's where I'm coming from more than anything else. I don't really have any desire to try new like even like i've never had veal i've never had rabbit i don't really have any particular desire to try either of those stuff like that i just don't really see the point i have what i want like i'm very happy with what i have give me salmon just give me lots of salmon an occasional steak and then chicken is filler and i'm happy that's all i need and then everything else can be like Potatoes, broccoli, corn, carrots, peas, onions, garlic, lots of garlic, the occasional apple, rice, lots of rice, even more pasta, and then like a ton of bread, and I'm happy forever. And of course, miscellaneous things like, uh, if I drank milk, it would probably kill me, but milk for cooking, butter, margarine all that crap you know like whatever that's all cheese especially lots of cheese italian food delicious and everything that goes into it but yeah like for major major stuff like meat vegetables fruit that's pretty much it for me and i'm happy with that i'm real happy with that i used to occasionally like pears but i found that like like a really good pear is really good but every other pear is like horrible to eat so i've basically just said well i'd rather not roll the dice every time just give me an apple because that's like 98 not well it's like 80 to 90 percent that you're gonna have a good one and if you know what to look for the grocery stores you can get it up to like maybe 95 you can still get a bad one occasionally but they're generally pretty good especially around here they're easy to grow in california so i actually had a uh i think one of my grandparents used to have an orchard so, common thing. Not, I mean, not like common to have an orchard, but there's a lot of apple growing that happens in California. Those are already full, that's spooky. I should really double up, yeah, let's do that. Just do the inner ones right now. I, sh I kind of want to do another one on each end, but I think for the moment we're just going to leave it be. These guys are getting charcoal, and to be honest, I'm afraid to ask too many questions about how, <laughs> so I'm just going to leave it alone and hope it doesn't blow up in my face. As much as you guys could do another row, or another uh, round of growing, I would kind of rather have you for manpower. I feel like that's more advantageous at the moment to get these buildings done. This is a lot of work to be done there. We'll get it done in the winter anyway, but you get the idea. We gotta work at it, is the point. But yeah, man, I never really thought about how many, like, steak? You can do steak different ways, but you have to put stuff with it. You can't, it's not just like, oh, if you season the steak, it's like a completely different experience. And it, it can go in a radically different dish. You don't really have that. Like, you can get it a little bit if you just put, like, if you dice the steak up and then put spicy stuff on it, which is not really the steak that's spicy. Like, if you rinse it off, it wouldn't be that spicy anymore most of the time. 
You can do that and put it in burritos or something, but... Other than that, there's like not that many different ways to do steak, in my opinion. Chicken is way more versatile. It, it actually absorbs uh, seasoning, I guess, is the way I'd put it. I wonder why that is. I wonder if there's like other meat that has that property. Weird. It's kind of funny to think of it as like chickens used to be raptors, so like our primary, one of the primary food stocks for meat for humanity is what used to be like I think a predator? Were raptors were predators, right? That wasn't like a, I know velociraptors are like a totally different thing. I'm not even sure those are even real. I think that I, I don't totally I'm not sure if that's been like wildly misrepresented and misunderstood based on the evidence we have about what they are and like our scientific understanding of them is radically different than, like, Jurassic Park. I don't know to what extent that is the case, but I also know... I'm pretty sure that, like, actual raptors are not really close to that. My understanding is that they're closer to... much, much closer to chickens. And we're more like maybe scavengers or insect eaters than, you know, like big roving predators that were super smart or whatever. I don't know if that's real. That's all I'm saying. But it's interesting. Something that, I don't know, like it, it doesn't, it, it's literally something that doesn't matter, but I also kind of wish I knew more about it because it is interesting. It's interesting stuff, but it doesn't matter at all. So, I don't know. Like, would I rather know how to do... No, I can't put that there. Would I rather know how to, like... Make... A drone? Yeah. Yeah, I would. Because I would totally put a bunch of time and money into like building a custom drone from scratch myself and having like my own thing that I can send up. I talked about that before, how I'd love to take like an expensive drone and send it up and take pictures of nature, basically, and be like, because you have to kind of think about it, like that kind of photography, I think didn't, it wasn't something that anyone like me could do. Like, you really needed a, uh, a helicopter for that kind of thing before. And with drones, that kind of changes the way it works, right? You don't necessarily need something like that to be able to... Need, you don't necessarily need access to enough money to, to rent a helicopter, which I don't think is necessarily a huge amount of money, but it is money. And it's, I think it's probably more than the thousand and some odd dollars it would take to get a nice drone. And the, you keep the nice drone, is the other thing. So, I think we're fine on wells. They're up front, so it should be fine. I could put, well, I don't know if you can build them on here. Can you? I think you can, actually. I should probably do that, then. Let me... do that. I can't make them... Oh, I hate... Okay, never mind. I'm not going to do it, because I can't... I mean, I can kind of do it evenly, but then they're not placed, like, on the on the tiles, so... Screw that. Not doing it. Ooh, you're done. I'm going to pause you for a second, finish this one, and then start kicking people out. Winter's coming, so... You know what? I'm going to preemptively take everyone off the farms. I'm going to leave them on the orchards because those are a little bit more productive still, but not exactly going anywhere anyway. It's 
Sorry, I gotta cough real quick, and I can't alt tab because life is futile gets real mad when I do that sometimes. All right, let me do this. Okay, cough has gone away. There we go. I'm gonna try to keep it that. Nope, it's back. All right, one moment. <coughs> Sorry about that. I'm not sick at all, but I still have mild congestion. And the more I talk, the more, like, my throat gets irritated, so when I'm recording, which I'm not really doing in sessions at this point, I'm kind of doing it as needed, I periodically am going to run into that issue. It's just going to keep happening. There's not really a whole lot I can do to avoid it. Hey, snow time. Everyone off the orchards. Back to baking. Uh, ore is necessary, I feel. Clay is maybe a little bit, but not super necessary. Do a little. I'm gonna pause that one. Probably don't need to do that, but. Uh, whatever. Some people are going to die anyway, and, and frankly, too bad. I don't care. I'm irritated by it, but I also, given that I don't have any control whatsoever, I'm just sort of like, you know what, you, you want to be stupid? That's your problem. I'm not going to lose sleep over it, as I've said. get these jokers. I can't tell if it moved down one. I also can't see. Okay, this is terrible. Um, well, it's not finished anyway. This is like a nightmare. I think I've got it. Okay. One, two... This is where it needs to go. Whether or not I'll be allowed to place it there anytime soon, well, that's a little bit of a different story. With any luck, they're going to finish any of the those three that are unfinished soon. I feel like I'm going to be waiting for a while, so I'm just going to give up. Alright, open for business. Guess what? You're all kicked out. You guys don't like it? Too bad. Alright. We are officially out of our hostels. Though we've lost... They're too stupid to move, so whatever. Let them die. I, I genuinely, at this point, I'm done caring. You guys had your shot. You're killing yourselves at this point. On the bright side, we should have a population boom. Theoretically, at some point. I don't know, they're just like, they don't care to move into the new houses at all. And it's just over. Like, we've reached the limit of what the game is willing to let us do. Shit, I screwed up. That's correct. That's too off. Whatever. I'm pretty sure I had it correct. How the hell did I place these the first time? That's one... two. There we go. Alright, I got it. You know what? You guys want to starve to death and die? I'm not going to save you. You kind of earned your, your death. To put it bluntly. I'm a little worried about plague, to be honest, but I also did my part. You guys made your bed. You don't want to sleep in it? You literally made your bed. That's what these are, beds. You don't want to sleep in those houses? Then that's on you. I think in light of recent events, we may want to build some more. Oh, hey, look, people moved. 
It's almost like the game is designed to only check for housing changes periodically, and that completely fucked up the ability for people to change their housing situation. I feel like I know exactly what they screwed up. And I also feel like I'm pretty damn sure they're not going to fix it. <laughs> I think that ship has pretty much sailed at this point. So much for support. So much for being high and mighty and better than banished, huh? Oh, we'll support our game. We're going to keep doing stuff. Yeah, okay. You sure about that? I'm not sure about that. Alright, who have we lost? We have lost people that were doing things because we went to one and we had one because someone died. and Or no, someone grew up. So there's that, and I think that might have been the only one. Yeah, I think we're good on every other front. Nope. Fisherman 2. Now we're good. Alright. How are the donkeys doing? 0 out of 5! Wow! What happened? How did you guys fuck that up? I literally just restocked it. <laughs> it was down to one, so four of those donkeys were kind of new. Wow. That was nuts. Alright, so... We're not going to have enough people for the farms. But we're also not going to need as many people for the farms, and we're way over time. So let me set this up real quick. I don't need any builders right now. It's not critical. Bakers can come back. And we're going to take off four farms. I'm going to say these four don't need to work right now. 58. That's a good number. I don't know why I type 47. Well, I do know exactly why I type 47, but... It's the keypad for you. Anyway, that is going to do it for today's episode, so thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, there's always the Twitch stream, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, 6 to 8 p.m. PST, you know the drill. Feel free to come by and check it out. If not, thanks for watching here on YouTube, and I'll see you next time. Take care.